Hello, in this video we're going to solve this differential equation. Let's just go ahead and jump into it right away and start the process. So, solution. The first thing I want to do is write this differential equation in a way that it's just a little bit easier to solve. So we can write y prime of t like this, dy dt. And then over here on the right hand side we still have everything here. So this is e to the y over 2 times the sine of t. And the goal is to separate everything. We want all of the y's on one side together with the dy and all of the t's on one side together with the dt. Looks like we can multiply by dt and divide by e to the y over 2. So when we do that, we get dy over e to the y over 2. So we're dividing both sides by this, and that's equal to, now we're gonna multiply by dt, so that's gonna give us the sine of t, and then here we have dt. So again, we divided by e to the y over two, and we multiplied by dt, so we end up with this. We can go ahead and integrate both sides now, so I'll squeeze in the integral symbol here. Now on the left-hand side, in order to integrate this, it's a little bit easier if we take this and bring it upstairs. When we do that, the exponent here is going to become negative. So this is now e to the negative y over 2 dy. And this is equal to the integral of sine t dt. So there is a trick to integrate this. Um, you could make a u substitution. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and make the u substitution. But there, there is a trick. So the trick is basically to memorize the formula. So I'm going to let u equal to negative y over 2. And then so du, taking the derivative of both sides, the derivative of y is 1. So we just get negative 1 half dy. And we don't have a negative one half in our integrand, so we need to get rid of this because our goal is to make this look like what's up here. So now we'll multiply both sides by negative two. When we do that, we get negative two du, and over here it'll cancel, so we just get dy. Okay, let's go ahead and make the substitution now. So instead of dy, it's negative two du. I'm gonna pull out that negative two, and I'll show you the shortcut when we're done and then du. So all that I've replaced at this point is the dy. The dy is negative 2 du. And then so here we have e to the u. And this is equal to, I'm just going to leave it as the integral of sine t dt for now. Integrating e to the u, we just get e to the u. So this is negative 2 e to the u. And you could add a plus c, but when you add one to the right-hand side, you'll have plus c's on both sides. So you can just combine them into a single plus c. So I'm just only going to write it on the right-hand side. So we're integrating sine, so we have to think backwards. What's a function whose derivative is sine? Well, the derivative of cosine is negative sine. So this should be negative cosine of t. And you can check, because if you differentiate negative cosine, you're going to get negative negative sine, which is sine plus our constant of integration, capital C. We're not quite done. We still have the negative y over 2, so that's our u. Remember, that was our substitution. So this will be negative 2 e to the negative y over 2, and that's equal to negative cosine t, plus our constant of integration, capital C. And that's pretty much it. You could solve for y if you really wanted to, but let's just go ahead and stop here. This should be good enough. So I mentioned there was a shortcut to integrating e to the negative y over 2. Let me just go ahead and show you really quickly because it's really important to know the shortcut. So if you have the integral of negative y over 2 dy, we can think of this as the integral of e, and this is negative 1 half y, dy. And so there's a formula. It says that if you have the integral of e to the bx dx and b is not 0, you just divide by the b. So it's e to the bx over b plus our constant of integration, capital C. 
This is a super powerful, super useful formula because it allows you to integrate quickly without doing all the work we did here. So in our particular example, the B takes the role of negative one half. So we just divide by negative one half. So it's gonna be E to the negative one half Y divided by negative one half plus C. So that's, well, when you divide by negative one half, you really multiply by the reciprocal, which is negative two over one. So this is just negative two E to the negative one half Y plus our constant of integration, capital C. And you can see that's exactly what we got up here. Let's check. Uh, yeah, it's right here, negative two e to the negative y over two, right? And that's what we have here, negative two e to the negative one half y. Same thing, right? Negative one half y is the same thing as negative y over two. So not a very difficult problem, but still uh, important. And hopefully uh, this video has taught you some mathematics. Until next time, good luck.